you about today? <laughs> Surprise! I'm going to talk about seven modern ways how to style the famous Breton top also called in French la marinière. So this video is for you if you have any type of a striped top and you really love it like me, you don't have to look French, but hey, it's a French. <laughs> Hello, bonjour, my name is Frédéric. I talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle with a French twist. Oh, such a program, isn't it? So if you haven't done it yet, please thank you first for watching my channel and my videos. Also consider to click, 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 click. That's it you have to do for me. It means the world, a lot of the world, which one I'm gonna pick. Uh, and it just proves that you love my work and it's free for you. And for me, it's very important to support my channel. So thank you so much. Don't forget the notification bell. Also, before I go a little bit much deeper in this video, please watch this video about the French fashion icons. It's an old video, but it's a very good one because for once I talk about the fashion history and how the French people creating few items that you're still wearing today and you didn't know they was French. And I talk about obviously the Breton top, yes, because it's 100% French. It's from actually Brittany. This video was highly, highly requested by you ladies. So thank you so much for always sharing what you have to do in comments. Let me know which look do you prefer and how do you like to style you on Breton top. By the way, I'm also available on my website on frederickbros.com. I'm creating a styling course very, very, very soon. So to be the first to know, if you don't want to miss it, please join my wait list on a newsletter. Super easy. You visit the website, the pop-up window is coming. I'm also on Instagram, on any type of social media, on the handle MS Frederick, because this look, I'm going to take picture of it and posting on Instagram, so you can take a screenshot and keep it for your collection. So for the little story, the Breton top was for the marine, so people were the fishermen. I'm going to call it la marinière in French, and the French ladies are watching my videos, thank you girls. Please let me know because I never heard in France someone said, Oh, you wearing your top breton aujourd'hui? I'm like, no, we don't say that. We call that la marinière because marin, marine, marines. I just want to put a point on that because breton top are only putting on the title for you because if I put marinière, no one's going to understand. But anyway. 18th century, they were looking for something very durable. Coco Chanel, at the end of the Second War, used as well the marinière for uh, more like uh, prêt-à-porter, uh, everyday uh, wearing, you know, because people didn't have much money. And uh, that's the marinière. But how do you find the right marinière? Well, I'm going to tell you the one I'm wearing right now is the wrong one. <laughs> And for once, I'm going to say something negative about Zara. So this is a Zara t-shirt, probably $20. A marinière, obviously, so a striped t-shirt. And you can tell it's more like, uh, it's a very, very dark navy. It almost looks black on the vi video on the camera. And I iron it, but you can tell the couture is it's just not, I like the shape. So I'm going to show you a bit closer, but as you know, when you buy a marinière, the first thing you should check, and that's going to be a sign of the quality, outside of, you see, of the fabric and the composition, are the straps. As you can tell, my straps are not really joining, and I think it show a little bit better. You see, this, they are not like connecting to each other. This is a sign that the marinière is not French or it's just not well done. Also, apparently the line should be completely connected here. I hope I'm telling you the right thing because I need to check on my other tops. But I'm going to show you the other marinière that I have. And yes, I am so sorry. They all from France. I all bought them in Brittany when I traveled to France a long time ago. And every time I go to France, every time I go to Brittany, I buy probably one or two marinières. They last forever. Some are extremely old, so don't judge me on that. But the quality, I can tell you, I think I got one for probably almost 20 years and I wash it a million times. You can tell it's a little bit tired, but I love it. 
So my first marinière is with a very like what we call a col bateau, so very like um, this, this type of collar. And you can tell the straps are vertical on the uh, sleeves. But I tell you, I bought this one in uh, the city where I'm born in Lorient. Literally, I got this one for 20 years, so it's a bit old. But look at the straps connection. It's absolutely impeccable. So it's a light cotton. It's super, super simple one. I am still wearing it because you know when sometimes you have those days, it's warm, but it's not super hot yet. And I like those long sleeve in cotton for that. So that would be the first one. So yeah, ladies, if you really want a good quality marinière, I don't want to sound extremely go French, buy French, but you need to buy from a French brand. And I'm going to talk another one. This one I bought on the market. Actually, I got another one I bought on the market. So in France, you can buy your food and buy the marinière. <laughs> this is so French. So this brand is from uh, Courant Marin. It's a small and this time I wanted to do, to have something like with, it's extremely Jean-Paul Gaultier style. And even on the sleeve, you can tell the stripes are connecting. And that was probably like 20 or 30 euros top, you know. So obviously I'm going to show you again on the side and it's got a little bit slit. Uh, it's a very simple cut when you think about it. But again, I, I love it. And again, I washed it a long time ago. The other top, again, from a market. So this one is a bit of a heavier one. It's in cotton. And I just read the brand. And this is so French and so Britain. The Les Trois Dauphins. And it's a size S. And it means the three dolphins. I don't know any brands called the three dolphins. But anyway. So this one is a little bit more like a grayish color. Again, you can tell the straps are connected everywhere. Um, this is more like a weekend again when you go for a walk and I, I style it with white jeans. I really love this one. Super good quality for the price. I got that for, I don't know, five, six years. And the latest one that I have, this is the best quality. So this is the one I will recommend and this is the brand I will recommend to buy. And uh, it's from Saint James L'Atelier. I'm going to show you a little bit closer. So this is, and you have the sticker Made in France. And usually the Saint James top, they have a tiny, tiny little logo on the left sleeve. This is how you know that is the real one. And when I bought this one, so that was probably two years ago, this is going more in a pricey one. Uh, it's in cotton. And this time I go for the dark color. So instead of the white marinière, it will be the dark one. I need to check if we can buy them online and it can be shipped to Australia. Because sometimes you can buy a lot of things online and they don't ship to Australia, especially in France. Anyway, but if you want to buy La Marinière Française, definitely come from St. James or is another brand called L'Armor de Luxe as well. I will link below and again, it's not sponsored. So how to wear a marinière, anything you want to look casual smart, but I'm going to show you as well if you want to go out and you can elevate a little bit your look. So everybody has a marinière at home. I'm sure you have one. Don't you worry if it's not the perfect straps connecting. The most important, if it's a good quality and you love wearing it and you feel good, that's the most important.
so you can see la marinière can be easily elevated or turning down in any type of outfit or situation of the day that's why i love it so much this top so if you haven't done yet because you've been thinking about it now it's time click 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 thank you so so much give me a big thumbs up let me know what you think about this video in the comment section which one is your fav and uh, i'm gonna see you to the next video if you're bored right now you can check below all my recent videos and more and i tell you i love you you take care and i see you soon ciao ciao